What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all having a blessed day. Today we're going to go over what you need to do in order to make sure that you are getting the max amount of stubs possible. The new fourth inning program is getting ready to drop. So I want y'all to be able to take advantage of that and make sure you do all your daily moments for July. You can get a free 97 overall switch hit in first baseman with a secondary third baseman. So you want to be able to take advantage of all that good stuff. Shout out to the MVPs. If you on Xbox, go in the comment section right now. Put MVP and put Xbox. I'm going to pick three different winners because y'all been rocking with me, man. Let's get into today's stub method and today's banger. AHMLB is having a crazy sale, 20% off. Plus, if you use cold fat, another 5% and finish collection. So like I said, just doing your daily moments is going to give you a chance at this free 97 overall Pablo Sandoval switch hitting first baseman if you don't have David Ortiz or he can play third base if you don't have Chipper Jones. So we're going to look at my active orders. You can see Michael Brantley. You can see Ozzy Albus. You can see Joe Musgrove. These are all buy orders that have not went through. Now, these are also investments that I have did. So take a screenshot, pay attention. These are people you should be investing in. The best chance at going diamond in the next roster update is right here in front of your face. Freddie Peralta, Joe Musgrove, Ozzy Albus, shout out to Ozzy Albus, the boy went crazy, he went like 4 for 5 or 5 for 6 with like 5 or 6 RBIs the other day, the boy went crazy. If you look at the price, $27.55 I'm buying Joe Musgrove's for. This is a long term investment, meaning 2 to 5 days after the roster update, these orders will go through. If you want to invest into somebody and they are already very high, if the lowest you can get them for is 4,000, 4,200, you can go down a thousand stubs, put investment orders in. So when the roster update come, you might not get that card that day, but once they get upgraded two or three days later, the buy orders will stop going in and they will start fulfilling all the sell now orders down in the list. The reason why I invest in these Jesse Winkers and you can make a lot of stubs this way is because every four to five days he hits off a right hander, gets another home run, his price skyrockets to about 2,800 to 3,000 stubs. Getting them for 1,250, 1,200, that's about 16 to 1,800 stub profit every single time. You don't even have to wait to the roster update. Jesse Winker is gonna make you stubs. He's gonna always be low to buy and he goes up to about 2,800, 3,000, 3,200 stubs. That's a quick flip. You buy 10, you wait two or three days, you go back to the Jesse Winker, you flip him, make yourself 15 to 25,000 stubs real easy and real simple. Now let's look at players that you should be investing in before the roster update. These are people that you should be trying to get as many as possible of. So Joe Musgrove, like I showed y'all, I got a lot of the buy orders still in, but I got 14 of them that once he gets that plus one, I could take advantage of right now. Another investment is my CJ Crines. I got 25 of them. I either look at their potential to be guaranteed to get the next bump or I look at their potential to be able to ride off the hype. So what I mean by that is the CJ Crine, if he can get with hype, people speculating that he might get that bump, he gets up to about 800 to 900 stubs. I can sell him off 25 of them. I would probably take 20 of them, sell off of the hype, and I would take them extra stubs being that you can get him for about 200 stubs, he gets up to 800, that's 600 stubs every single investment. It's the Giovanni Galagos, I've been telling y'all over and over and over, I got 30 of them. But I also have about 12 to 15 more orders behind the scene at about 3,400 stubs. So when you look at it, you see 4,649, you see sell now, 4,200, 5,000 stubs, Every single diamond card, if he gets the upgrade, I'm going to get 30 of them. So I will be able to cash that out. And then two or three days later, after the roster update, the other orders will start being fulfilled. That's lower down in the tier. And then I will have 15 to 20 of them sitting in the binder for 5,000 stubs a piece. So Richard Rodriguez is another good investment. He's already at 900 plus stubs, close to the 1,000 quick sale of a goal. So either I'm going to be making 600 stubs, each and every time or I'm going to have the thousand quick sell and it's going to be 700 stub profit on 27 different Richard Rodriguez's. You can look at it two different ways. Either you can sell them off 
and take your profit right now. I got them at about 200 stubs at 700 stub profit, or you can hold them for the roster update. He goes up to 1,000. That's about 800 stub profit on all 27 of them. Right now, for 608 stubs, you can still make about a 350 400 profit on each and every single one but if you've been investing in them i told y'all a few videos ago about my investments i just want to keep y'all updated these certain cards are cards that have the best chance at making you a lot of stubs you want to be making 150 to 300 thousand stubs on every roster update you got to get on the market when cards are at their lowest especially tops now cards Today is the best time to flip them. The new fourth inning program should be out within the next hour. So them cards are gonna be 11, 12,000. People are gonna need to turn them in for no sale for the free XP, and they're gonna have two and 3,000 gaps in between. So drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. We got a big giveaway at 9K subscribers and an even bigger giveaway at 10K subscribers. But MVPs in the comment section, MVP, Xbox, I'm picking three winners, let's get it.